Okay, so uh, we're going to do some of these problems, hopefully make it a little bit easier to finish the homework for you guys. Um, remember not to just look at it and say, oh yeah, I can do that, and, do, and then immediately do it, but understand what's going on so that when you see these problems, again, you can recognize and know what to do uh, with them. The first one's uh, problem 58. You guys are responsible for number C, so I'm going to do A and B here really quick. We have to write the balanced formula, the complete ionic, and the net ionic equations for the following reactions uh, that occur when they're mixed. So our first one is solid silver hydroxide and hydrobromic acid. So we're going to go silver hydroxide. And this is, uh, silver is always plus one, hydroxide is always minus one, so that's already balanced there. Plus hydrobromic acid, HBr. Okay, so we have to break that down into its individual ions. So we're going to go Ag aqueous plus 1 ah, plus OH minus aqueous plus H plus aqueous plus Br minus aqueous. Okay, because they're all going to be in water. And then we're going to do our arrow. Well, from our rules of solubility, we look, we've got silver and we've got bromine. Those two are immediately going to pre precipitate out, so we're going to have AgBr, and that's going to be a solid. Okay, now a lot of times before that was it, the other two didn't, but if we look here, I have an H and an OH, so I am actually going to be able to make water, which is just, it's not an aqueous, because aqueous is water, and so this is a liquid. And so this is going to be my complete balanced equation. Um, and since everything is reacting again, it is also my net ionic equation. And so that's the whole answer right there for A. B, we have strontium hydroxide aqueous. So that's ST, no, SR, sorry, SR, uh, 2 plus and aqueous, and two hydroxides, because it's only a 1 minus, plus hydroiodic acid, so that's H plus aqueous plus I minus aqueous. Okay, and there is the line there. Alright, so again we look through this, what's going to precipitate out, what's not going to, strontium iodide is going to precipitate out, and that's going to be I2 and so we're going to have to come up here and balance our equation which is going to be easy, that's just like that. And again, I am going to have water formed from this. So this is my balanced net and my complete balanced equation, both of them together. Uh, hopefully that makes 58 a little bit easier. Next we have 62. And here I'm just going to do kind of the first one and uh, for what you're looking for with uh, titrations and uh, neutralizations, I have to get to equal numbers of hydrogen protons, H pluses, and hydroxide ions, OH minuses. So I've got to go through and calculate um, how many either hydrogen or hydroxide each of them have. The first one is 0.1 molar, so moles <coughs> Excuse me. Over one liter, and I have uh, 50 mils of that, so point times 0 0.0500 liters, which means that I have 0 0.00500 because of sig fix moles of H plus in that hydrochloric acid. Now you can go through and, and and do the rest of them, and then look to see do they match. If not, take the amount of moles of whatever you have extra of, so not your limiting reagent and divide it by the new volume of all of them mixed together. And that will answer that question. Uh, 68, uh, we did this last year and it's just a review this year. Uh, O2, two, this is going to be 2 minus for each oxygen, so 4 minus overall. It has a 2 plus charge, so this should be a plus 2. AS2O3, we know that oxygen is negative 2, negative 6. Negative 6, I would write that up there, but it's not letting me. Um, so this has to be a positive 6, positive 
three because I have two of them. NaBiO, I know that that's a negative two, O3, sorry, so this is a negative six. This is a positive one, so bismuth has to be a positive five. AS4, I only have AS, that's it, I don't have anything else, so this is elemental, so it's zero. Okay, that's 68. All right, so doing this with an acid. Let's get this set up. This is where it gets a little bit more complicated. Actually, let's stop there, and then I'll do the next ones on the next one. So this is the first part of um, the homework um, with the acid and base and oxidation states.